Right guys, uh, today's video is going to be a tour of my studio space. I'm sorry I haven't been active like whatsoever lately. I don't think I've uploaded in like five months. Um, but here we are, we're back. Uh, it's a re requested video. I've had a lot um, about where I'm working now, uh, what's my space and what's different from the last video I did. I think I did a studio tour like about two years ago. Well, I wasn't even a studio then, it was just my room and my setup, my graffiti, my art setup back then. So this is what's different. Uh, roll a few clips now. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that Telling me, telling me things about rap Talking the truth and then stabbing my back, they will knock me off track No, no, too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I just been drinking Anyway guys, there's loads to show you, uh, a lot of history in this room um, and a lot of just cool things to go through. I'm going to talk through like what kind of supplies I use, what I recommend, because obviously I've had like about eight years doing graffiti now, so I've got plenty of time to like, you know, learn what works well for me and yeah, cut to you out having to faff around with uh, shit supplies. So basically we'll start here. Uh, this is where I edit all my videos, I do any uh, graphic design work that I do, works perfect for me. This is just a, uh, yeah, just a PC. I'm running two Samsung monitors on here. Uh, means I can like multitask while I do it. So I have like Photoshop or Illustrator on here. Uh, I can film or like music on here, or, like emails or something. Works really well for me. I just, it's just a Corsair keyboard. It's just, I just like the colors to be honest. Um, here we've just got a nice big mouse mat, really great if you're doing graphics work to have a big mouse mat. Um, and I've just got a high DPI razor mouse. Um, yeah, big mouse mat's really great for graphics, you know, it's just you can be a lot more precise with it. Uh, moving over here, we've just got my iPad, I rarely use it, but if I do, it's just, you know, Twitter, Instagram, as I'm working. Um, um, moving over, uh, loose caps, unused caps here. Uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, trying out some new storage methods. This is uh, mason jars, so you can get these pretty cheap. Really recommend doing this um, if you're keen on like keeping your supplies neat. Mason jars, and then I've got a label printer and just uh, printed what's on there. Um, here is a piece of art I did recently. It's a motocross mo motorbike helmet that I've fully, fully painted. Um, if you follow me over on Instagram, you would have seen this uh, last week. Um, if you don't, here's a link. Go follow me now. Um, but yeah, it's fully painted and lacquered all over. So it's got a nice protective layer. Oh, I didn't even talk about my desks. So these are two uh, one and a half by 60 centimeter, I think, Ikea desks. They're cheap, and, but they work perfectly. You know, it doesn't really matter if the tops get scratched and beat up when I'm doing art. Not too bothered because they're cheap desks. Um, but yeah, they look great, the white. Um, yeah, moving over here. So we've got two cutting mats. Um, one of the one of these uh, I had already, and this was one which I got in a Mad Bomber um, package. Um, just standard stationary stuff, you know, uh, ruler. Here are my black marks, uh, pens and uh, cutters. Um, this one here, I've got the um, paint markers that I use sort of daily. So just standard stuff that I go to, you know, whites, and then a few colors that I use in every piece. Um, here is my kind of travel bag for my uh, Molotovs. So if you didn't know, Molotov is a sick brand. They make paint um, markers and like anything graffiti related really. It's a great brand, really high quality and it's well worth the price point. Uh, so yeah, Molotov 127HS. Uh, 
following over here, I've got a printer. Uh, I have actually printed stickers on this, believe it or not. Uh, you can buy A4 sheets of sticky labels. And uh, yeah, you can print you can print stickers with uh, one of these printers. It's also a scanner as well, so I can do that. Um, here I've just got a set up for my flyers. If you didn't know, I do commission work alongside just standard graffiti stuff. So um, I have a way of promoting myself through that. Uh, we've got my box shelves here. Uh, really, really, really pleased with these. One of my favorite parts about the room, even though it's so simple. Uh, up top here, we've got a uh, Mad Bomber train I did. That was really sick. That's actually a video from a few years ago, I think. Um, I've actually got the bus as well, we've still yet to do. We've got a, an assortment of markers that I've got. Uh, we've got things like a Grog Metalhead here, and on the run, a Crink. Uh, we've got one of these really cool Evolve um, markers, Molotovs, uh, mainly mops on the shelf, mops and uh, marks. Uh, coming down, well, we've got a, a lettering piece here, which I just thought was cool. Uh, I've had that ages. Um, my inks, so at the moment I've got some grog, white, black and chrome. A little uh, chrome mop there. We've got some eggshell stickers here at the back. So if you didn't know what eggshells are, uh, I'd also really recommend these. Really high quality branded uh, product. So they're basically sticker blanks, um, but they're buff proof, meaning that if someone tries to peel them off, they will just flake apart and it'll be a nightmare for them. And really good for you because your stuff stays up. Um, here I've got a really cool retro can that I found in an abandoned building. Um, I actually found out the date on this and I think it's older than me. So that's pretty sick to have. Um, anyway, moving over. Uh, I guess just... Uh, that's the full view. These are two... Basically all the shit in here, all the furniture in here is Ikea. Just to keep it cheap. And I just really like the, uh, what the white looks like. Um, these are two Ikea bookshelves, so they're marketed as bookshelves, but I just saw them and I just saw, I just thought paint rack. Um, so we'll start over here. Uh, this is just filing stuff. This shoebox here is my stickers that I've got from people that have sent me, um, and a few of my own. Uh, I did go, I go through a phase of wanting to start doing packs, never got round to it, but there's a load of stickers in there, so I can imagine sending those out. Uh, in the near future. Uh, here are my empty boxes. So here's another tip that I'd always give everyone is whenever you order paint, keep the boxes. Um, these MTM94 boxes are perfect because they're, they've got like a concertina thing at the bottom so they can fold flat. Um, and if you're going to a wall uh, and you don't want to take like a big rucksack full of paint, literally just pop a box, bang, bang, bang. Get your cans, put your cans in there, you can just put it in a carry bag. It's really handy. Um, if you're just doing like throws or... If you're doing like throws or straights, you only want six colours, that's literally perfect. So I keep a handful of 94 boxes. Um, you can also get like uh, loop boxes. So loop actually do theirs in fours. So fit four cans in there and just, yeah, always keep the boxes. Let's move on to what probably a lot of people have clicked on this video to see, which is the paint, what paint I use. Um, what I've actually got at the moment and what I'm uh, planning to do. So I'm not too fussy with brands of paint. There's some brands that I really just wouldn't touch, like I've tried them before and I just weren't happy with them. Um, but from here you can see that my main go-to would be Montana 94. Uh, if you've never tried this before, it's an acrylic, uh, low pressure, uh, and it's all matte and it's just great to use. It's really, really, really great starting can because it's so low pressure, anyone can basically control it. Um, but other than that, I'm not too fussy. You know, I like iron lac. Uh, I've got a few iron lacs dotted around there. Um, so yeah, iron lacs, uh, Montana golds. I like those as well. Um, and then uh, loop, of course. If you haven't tried the loop, it's uh, it's a great it's a great paint. It's very very similar to I'd say um, iron lac or like uh, NQ. Um, it's a bit cheaper though. Um, so you can get more for your money. Um, but when it comes to piecing, I, I wouldn't go um, far from Montana 94. Uh, I've also got, what else have I got in here, man? Uh, some dope. Those are kind of a budget, kind of a budget can. 
Um, but yeah, they're great. Backgrounds, anything like that, or just quick stuff, you know, uh, they're great, they're great. Um, they also, they don't really have a color donut, so I tend to write what the color is, it just helps me. Um, for example, once you're at a wall and that comes off, you're not gonna know what it is without the donut, so I like to write what the color is on the edge. Um, as you can see, I've sort of arranged it in color form, but we're, we're overflowing some in some places. Um, so down here I've got um, Cobra 600 mils. This is for a project I did a while back, um, and these were leftovers. Uh, so I've used them for backgrounds on pieces. Uh, I've also got 600 mil uh, Molotov there. I'm not sure what that was from. Uh, moving down here, we've got like specialist cans and just like random stuff. So a lot of chrome, a lot of chrome stuff, uh, primers, lacquers, anything I'm using for like commission stuff. Um, few overflow greys in there but yeah a lot of technical stuff a few car paints and things like that um down here we've got a uh, roller paint so uh save a lot of money at a wall uh using a roller background so that's where i keep my roller paint in here i've got uh, rollers um and uh, just a few tools down there so come back up here is sort of uh, last few years work to be fair, uh, black books. Um, this is probably a quarter of my black books. These are the ones that I just keep and, uh, sort of refer back to, uh, other stuff is just more rough and stuff that I'll take on a train, chuck in a bag with me. Uh, so I don't keep those in here. Um, so yeah, black books through the years. If you haven't seen my, uh, black books through the year video, um, it was from a few months ago and that video has just gone crazy, man. Like, I did not expect that kind of response from that video. So I'm really pleased how well that went. Uh, and if you haven't gone seen it, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, moving on, Pro Markers, great marker for black books. Uh, relatively cheap, you can get a set like this for like around 30 pounds. And for like graphic markers to start learning like blending techniques and colors and color theory for your pieces, those are a great cheap marker to go for. Um, yeah, black books, this is uh, stuff that I've picked up over the time so uh, magazines up here are sticker blanks um, just hidden away uh, moving over here we've got a we've got paint paint charts roll of blanks there uh, an old camera um, and these are these are called uh, touch five markers so those twin tip as well so they got a bullet that end and a chisel that end and those are great markers as well i really recommend those and you have this full pack of like 72 is about 30 pounds as well so definitely recommend those okay so moving up here we've just got like cleaning supplies and chemicals um more flyers here this is like an, uh, oh, this is an overflow box of my uh, well this is more streakers so we had mops mops and things up there and this is my streakers so I got like markers um, and a few just like alcohol markers I've got one of those stealth inks as well um, and like press and goes and things like that uh, anyway uh, here is my like uh, like loose markers so Crayolas just like shit cheap stuff uh behind that i've got my copics so those are really old now rarely use them but uh you know there was so much that i just don't want to ch uh, ever chuck them away um here is my well bag of used caps um i'm just sort of holding on to them because i know there's going to be some kind of project i could do with those or make something with them used caps um or i could get around to Maybe be too late, but clean them out. Um, moving on next, I've got this big whiteboard. This was also from Ikea, and it's great just to just sketch on and put notes and things like that. Um, should we do a few subscribers' names? Yeah. All right, so I'll just go through the comments of the last few videos. Uh, we'll do an Alco loss. Next, we've got Angus Goff.
do one more hit off. Uh, oh, you subbed, man. We'll do you. Alvaro. Sick. So, yeah, anyway, whiteboard, just a cool little gimmick, really. Um, down here. Uh, so, this is my Mr. Serious painting bag. Um, this is a bag make that are specifically made for graffiti, so um, they fit the cans in. Uh, I'll just show you an example here. So here's a can of, uh, box of six cans. It fits perfectly in there. You can fit one there and then number two on top. So you can fit like a turtle, I guess that's 24 cans in the bag. Um, here is my uh, caps. So it's not that tidy at the moment, but I like to separate my caps. These here are dirty, because I've had a few paints recently and not cleared it out. But yeah, dirty caps, and then I like to separate my uh, caps there. Always just stick a couple markers in. Uh, never went nowhere near. Kind of handy. Uh, here's my ladder. Um, I want to get into doing some bigger pieces and, you know, more interesting places. So nice big um, ladder there. Um, and then here I've got, well, just a couple of blank canvases. Um, that's basically the studio anyway. So a few more bits. Obviously this is my uh, false wall, uh, which I've just basically tagged, tagged the shit out of that. I think it's a pretty cool effect. And the cool thing about it is I can just like, whenever I get bored of that, I can just put a different bit of artwork around on or get a few eyes round and get them to do a piece on here. So it's all gonna be constantly changing anyway. Uh, up here is just a few bits of artwork that I've collected um, and a few things out of like magazines, like a zine uh, I think my bomber sent me over. Uh, over here I've just got a few hats. Uh, here's a cool little embroidered hat I got done while I was on holiday. Um, anyway guys, that is the full studio tour. Uh, I'm really happy with how it is and I'm really humble with the fact that how far I've come in, you know, in my art form and uh, the kind of what I've been able to achieve here. Um, the place is gonna be constantly changing, so uh, I'll try and do updates when I can. And you drop a like, I'd really appreciate that. Leave a comment, and I'll try and do you a hit up uh, like this in the next video. Uh, other than that, guys, have a nice day, and I'll catch you later.